On this episode of Bass to Billfish, Peter Miller may have encountered his biggest fishing adventure yet. My wife is one of my guests, and she brought in a couple of her friends. How are you? Good. Oh, so What's up? Oh, but these ladies are up for a challenge Yay. <laughs> and have come ready to battle big fish. That's a big That's one. one. So get ready for part one of The Girlfriend's Getaway. <laughs> Florida the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. What's exciting about the guests for today's show is my wife is one of my guests. The sailfish have been around, the wahoo have been around, the tuna, the dolphin, kingfish. So, it should be good. I never, yeah, it should be. She wound up calling a couple of her girlfriends that she competed with on these uh, adventure racing teams. Peter first asked me to be on the show. I got really excited. I just wasn't sure what he was gonna have me do. Well, my wife hadn't been on the boat in a really long time. And I don't know if it was a trick for him to get me out on the boat. I fish these tournaments, I'm doing the show, so I'm doing my thing, and she's not fishing with me any longer. So it was an opportunity to get her on the boat. I love getting out there in nature, but I'm not really a water person. And I know she always loved it. She was really good at it. I'm very much a lamb person. So the opportunity to fish with her and then to bring her girlfriends, which I knew would keep her interest going in case the fish weren't biting, it was a perfect opportunity to get her and do it all, and, and it was fantastic. I just walked right past her. I haven't seen her in so long. I've met one of her friends before, and her name's Danelle, and she was the leader of this adventure racing team. She also did the Eco Challenge. Super competitive, very strong, very smart. So when my wife brought her name up, I thought she'd be up for it, and she was. Oh my God, that's Here enough. she comes. <gasps> oh my God, you have not changed a bit. How are you? <laughs> my wife gives her the hug, and they start talking. You know, it's like typical girlfriends getting together, and Alicia walks up. <laughs> Uh, coming from all corners of the world. What's up? I was third wheel at that moment. I'll go in next. I'm going in next. Hi, nice to meet you. What's happening? Are you Peter? Yes, I am. <laughs> I had never met Peter before. The last time I saw Arika, she I don't even think she was married at the time or had any children. And so when she called me, I uh, was very excited. So what am I getting myself into? I've never... Fish? Um, you never fished at all? Well, I mean, maybe from like a river. That's perfect. There was kind of that excitement in the air like we have at the beginning of every show, but I was kind of sharing it with my wife, which was kind of cool, and she was excited too. So it was neat to be doing it together. Well, let's get your bag before someone walks away wearing your clothes by tomorrow. Right, oh God. And yours too. I'm dragging a gigantic bag while my wife and her friends are hanging out. This is uh, the girls' getaway. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. This is where I get left in the dust. That's what happens when girlfriends get together. The men get pushed aside. <laughs> They're jabbering away over there. Hell, Ricky, you have the keys? No, do you? We have bags and camera crew and the girls that just came in and we're looking at this giant white van with no keys. I have this thing with keys. I never, ever remember where I put my keys. Okay. Are they on this? My wife had the keys. Yes. Here, you go. Here I was driving this big van. You can't see out of the back window, and they're way in the back. I can't hear their conversation. I don't know what's going on and I felt kind of like a chauffeur, and they're like, oh, Peter, we feel bad, you know, we're not even talking. I said, no, no, you know, it's okay. Because I'm just kind of listening to you guys. I'm usually the one doing the talking, and it's nice, you guys are chatting it up. I'm like driving Miss Daisy over here. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. 
We might be fishing right off the beach here or a little further south. The next morning, we headed down to Miami Beach Marina. We were heading offshore and we were gonna be kite fishing. Hey guys, we got a fish on. We got a fish. Bass to Build It with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Yellowfin, choice of champions. Mercury, number one on the water. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Peter and his wife have invited her friends to Miami for a girlfriend's getaway, bass to billfish style. But before they can hit the water, they check in at a historic Miami Beach hotel. So we pull up to the Fountain Blue Hotel, just a gorgeous entrance. We come around the bend there and there's a bunch of valet guys and bellhops. Wow, look at this. This is quite an entrance. Hello, how are you? How are you? I have never stayed at the Fountain Blue before. I've heard so many great things about it. I know it's one of the more historical hotels in Miami Beach. I'm so used to carrying their bags, I go to open the back up and I start taking bags out. Can I help you, Michael, or we normally don't help? All right, I'm not helping. Finally, you know, I get a little break here, so he started taking the bags out. I know, I'm just perfect, saying, oh, hey, perfect. Kind of like checking. Would you guys so stop talking out. already? I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You guys. It'll be the last time you're inviting my friends no, and me fishing. No. <laughs> Floors? Uh, ten. Well, it was really fun when we got to the Fountain Blue. Everybody came up to my room to check it out. <laughs> Danelle did it. Oh, look at that face. Look at the balcony. This is so nice, huh? This is nice. We well, might be fishing right off the beach here or a little further south. We fish off here all the time. So the next morning, I had the girls get up at around 6.30 and we jumped in the van and we headed down to Miami Beach Marina. Nothing to see here, folks. Just uh, protecting the skin. It's going to be a good day. We got the nice new yellow fin here with the Ray Marine Electronics. We got Madison, who's the. Uh, Hi, how you going? He's the cat's pajamas in the fishing world. It's true. He's the bee's knees. Are these the fish that you? thread the needle through? Yeah, or is These are actually the live, the live chummers. These are called uh, pilchards. And we're going to be throwing these over and you kind of uh, simulate a school of bait by the boat. And when you throw these over, they kind of congregate around the boat and the fish come up and they see all these fish swimming around and typically they'll scatter and your baits that are on the hooks will have a tough time scattering. So these guys hide and they come up and eat what you have. And this kind of draws them in. So these aren't attached to anything? They're no, just... we're gonna, these are free, we call them free chummers, or, or oh. yeah, we call them chummers. Oh. So we have like probably 500 to 1,000 of those, and they were caught yesterday. And then in here, we have the bigger baits, which are called threadfin herring and uh, yeah. goggle eyes. You see the ones with the large eyes? Yeah. You actually see those in Japanese restaurants and fish tanks. And so for, they for eat food. them? Food, yeah. The goggle eyes? Yeah. Goggle eye jacks, they call them big eye scads. It's kind of, they have a lot of different names all over the world actually. They cruise in like the deeper waters where the sailfish live and the sailfish go and eat them in big schools. And so those are the ones that we're gonna actually thread with the needles with these. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Hey guys, we got a fish on. What? Oh, no. We got a fish. I grabbed the rod. And I'm like, what do I do? What do I do with this thing? You can see her arms like kind of shaking and her muscles kind of pumped up. I start panicking. Whatever's on the other side, I'm not strong enough to hold on to this. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by The Bubba Blade is the only fillet knife you're ever going to need. One cut and you're through. 
Real adrenaline. The Fisherman's Energy Drink. Get hooked up with the official energy drink of Basta Billfish. Ray Marine. World leaders in marine electronics. Fish Hard Gear. Official apparel provider of Basta Billfish and Peter Miller. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by FishingCapital.com Peter Miller has invited his wife and her friends to Miami for a girlfriend's getaway. We might be fishing right off the beach here or a little further south. Now, the group heads out for a day of offshore fishing. We were heading offshore and we were going to be kite fishing. And when you kite fish, it's very difficult to go out and do it by yourself. So I had Madison Roberts, professional billfish captain, and I also had Froggy, who is a mate on my fishing team on the Get Lit, so it's great to have them. It's kind of like the adventure racing team. They worked as a team, we work as a team, and we can accomplish these goals if we set out and do it together. And that was what the goal was, to catch billfish. get to our spot offshore and we're putting the kites out and we put a flat line out with a pilcher to small bait. Hey guys, we got a fish on. What? Oh, no. We got a fish. I knew Peter was a great fisherman, but in less than 10 minutes, we already had a bite. Who's gonna, who wants to fight it? Go, oh, oh, I, know, I don't know how to do it. And I wound tight on it and handed it off to Danelle. So I grabbed the rod and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do with this thing? There you go. Yeah, pull up and then reel down, reel down. So I'm going and I'm reeling and I'm trying to reel down and pull up and reel down and pull up. Keep going, you're doing good. Let me How exciting! I know. You're sure this is a fish, right? Yeah. I'll pull up like. I don't know. It could be. It could be very small. It could be something. But at least we're starting out good. I start panicking because whatever's on the other side, I'm not strong enough to hold on to this. All right, let's go forward over here. Walk forward. There you go. Good. Oh, she was whining on the fish and kind of screaming. Hey, don't let it get ahead of us, Madison. <laughs> the girls were offering her support like they always do as teammates. And now I'm like, oh no, I can't give up this rod with my girlfriends because uh, it would be very embarrassing. Look at, look at muscles from Brussels over here. <laughs> Finally, Peter sees it and says, there it is. Hey, we got, we got a black fin tuna. And I'm looking, I'm like, that's not as big as I thought this would be. You, you can stop reeling now. <laughs> oh my God. Who wanted fresh fish for dinner? Yay, we got it. Huh? Yeah! That was my first time I've ever caught a fish. It was exciting. All right, well, we got a little black fin tuna. He's probably about eight pounds. As far as I'm concerned, it's a success. But now we got to get you guys something. We get the baits out. We get the next bite. Now it's Alicia's turn. Right you just pull up and then reel down. I was so thrilled when it was my turn to catch a fish. <laughs> Look, there he goes. Keep that rod tip up. I, you can't reel when he's pulling. Yeah, when he pulls, let him go. It's like dancing. You know, I can't um, reel with my left hand. You got to, sister. Oh, I do? Yeah. <laughs> you got it, girl. You can do it. Alicia winds up fighting a shark. Follow him, go all the way. Go, 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 girl. Go all the way around, all the way around over top. Perfect. Oh, there he is. Fin. Did you just see his fin? It was so thrilling for me to catch my first fish, which happened to be a shark. There he is. You got him. OK, oh, look at perfect. Him. Do I keep reeling? No, we're done. We did it. I thought, we, I thought we would eat it. Every fish we caught, I was thinking, can we eat that? <laughs> She's hungry. You better watch out for your lunch. Shark eater. Good job. <laughs> It was fun. It was really fun. I've never fished before, so it's my first fish. What more could I ask for to be on my first fishing trip and have it be with Peter Miller and a boat full of champion fishermen? Can't ask for anything better than that. And it was a shark, so yay! <laughs> now it's my wife's turn. We get another bite. Sure enough, it's another shark. Shark again. Oh, Let's see. Wait, how do I put this yeah, just right there, right in the middle. There you go. Remember, pull up and wind down. She's fighting, fighting, does a great job. Everything I've always taught her, you know, pull up, wind down. There you go, pull up, wind down. Don't yank too hard. There you go, nice. Wait, that's a big one. Big. Look at that. Oh, 
Look how big he is. You see him, guys? Yeah. He's so pretty. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm pulling on the leader, and sure enough, there's a hook, and then her hook. It's the same one. Look at the hook. There's two hooks in his mouth. I catch the same shark that Alicia had. <laughs> the thing came back and decided to eat my bait. No. Aww. That's unbelievable. So I caught my first shark, and that was very exciting for me too, to catch something new that I had not caught before. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can catch him a third time. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. And then we get a bite on the kite. You got a sailfish on. I don't think she was prepared for what the sailfish was about to do. As I'm reeling, he's running out farther than I can reel him in. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Mazda, Zoom Zoom, the Levin Papantonio Law Firm. Stay informed at bpspilltv.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Gaff Magazine, your coastal lifestyle angling and destination publication. Fishing off the coast of Miami, Florida, Peter has put his guests on the fish. There he is. Ah! And it was a shark, so yay! But although sharks are fun to catch, <laughs> this group of anglers are in search of a different species. We get a bite on the kite, and I knew it was a sailfish. So what do I do? You got a sailfish on. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no! And Danelle grabs the rod, and she starts to fight the fish. And she thought that the tuna pulled hard. I don't think she was prepared for what the sailfish was about to do. Go up, and then wind down, 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 and now stop. Ah, he's pulling the line. And I'm just, I'm concentrating so hard because he keeps running. So I'm looking, and as I'm reeling, he's running out farther than I can reel him in. Not gaining anything, so what you do is you watch your line to see that you're gaining, and when you go down, yeah. there you go. It's like, it looks like, like, a like no effort. <laughs> Between the three of you guys, you're probably the strongest people I've ever had on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> she was really giving it her all. I could see her arms like kind of shaking, her muscles kind of pumped up. So I finally get to a rhythm where I'm bringing them in slowly to, to the boat. Okay, don't whine anymore, don't whine anymore. Hold on to the rod, hold on to the rod. It was a spectacular fish, the way it jumped. Come back down, or you can back up. There he is. Wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The thing is beautiful. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. I, I, I had never seen anything close to that. Oh, here he goes. Yeah. Here he goes, he's gonna jump. It's a nice fish. Awesome. We're winding and we're getting this fish closer and closer and closer. She did a great job, got it right up to the boat. Back up, back up. Wind up that slack, then out, wind up that slack. Okay, good. I kept going. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to get this guy closer. I, I, I can't believe it. The winder, she never stops. We get him close to the boat, and he's, to me, gigantic. Here we go. Oh, look at him! Oh, my look! Trying to grab the fish. Froggy's reaching over. He's got his arms draped around the fish. Oh, oh my God. God! He's like six foot long and beautiful, and his colors were unbelievable. Please, woo! Typically, we don't bring the fish in for photos. We always practice catch and release, which we did with this fish, but for her first fish, this was special. And we got a phenomenal photo of, of the group of girls and myself and Froggy holding this billfish up. It's beautiful. I'm gonna release them, guys. Let me get them out from under the boat. All right, here we go. Next time on Bass to Billfish. Is that a sail right there on the left long? The girlfriend's getaway continues as Peter and the gang hook up on more pelagic trophies. You got a sailfish. Look at that little Woo! cutie. Oh! Just 
just follow him around. Oh, there he is. Nice! Girl, look at you! Another Come fish on. to eat! All right! Good job! Nice work! Then they travel inshore to stock bonefish on the flats of Biscayne Bay. We're going out with one of the famous bonefish guides. His name's Joe Gonzalez. Someone just hit this one. Arika, Arika! Okay, go ahead. Oh, got it! It's a bonefish. Real, 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 real. Woo! Yeah! And decide to stop off to pick up a little something for dinner. We're gonna go right up into this area and we're gonna go for some lobster. We started snorkeling around looking for, for the lobsters. Go to BassToBillFish.com and find out how you can audition to become the next guest on Bass to Billfish. The Bass to Billfish mobile app is here. Go to BassToBillFish.com to get your free app today.